Hey guys, Gizmo here, welcome to another tutorial in Witcher 3 and today we are gonna go and have a look at how to extract the cinematics from the game. So without further ado, let's just dive right into it and get everything set up and I'll show you how to use them. A few things you're going to need. First of all, you are going to need a Witcher 3 mod kit that you can get from the Nexus mods and you will need a mod editor to browse around and find the files that you'd like. Thereafter you will need a VGM toolbox to convert the file and FFmpeg to convert them even further and Winamp obviously to convert the audio. You'll find all the links in the description so feel free to pause the video if you like and get it all downloaded, installed and then from there onwards we will continue. Once you have everything installed we need to go ahead and get uh, set up the mod editor. Very straightforward. Mine's um, all been uh, put on my desktop here, it's just for the easy navigation. You go into a mod editor, which is, comes as a W3 edit, and you get the exe, you run it, get the Witcher 3 um, executable or the exe file. And for WCC Lite exe, that's the one that you will get from your Witcher mod kit that you need to install first. So go make sure that is installed first. Mine is on the desktop, it's in the bin, 64, and you get that all up and running there. And you click save. From there onwards, you can make the window bigger if you like, it's just for your own pleasure. And from here, you will save um, your, your Witcher 3 mod folder where you are going to get all your files into. So I'll put them on the t desktop, it'll be... Once that's done, you go at the top here, add file. And it's fairly straightforward from here. So you, you can see all the folders. And the good thing is, it puts all the files under the subsection. So all the movie files will be under movies. So all you do is you go into the movies, cutscenes, for example, flashbacks, select the files you want, add to mod, and just go on. You can put more than one folder in there. And also, a good thing. Remember I mentioned earlier that uh, I found that this way I found the file that I couldn't find earlier. For example, I was able to find the um, uh, main menu loading screen of the Hearts of Stone this way. I couldn't find the other ways because it just didn't show up anywhere. But using this way, it was fairly straightforward. There's the episode 1 and I'm sure the next one, episode 2, the Blood and Wine, will be available this same way. Yeah. So add it on to it. There you have all your USM file types. And after that you save it, click save at top, and you close it, and you go into the folder there. With these files, the USM file type, you won't be able to play them back. It's just the raw files as far as I'm aware. So what you need to do to extract them or convert them is the VGM toolbox. Get your VGM toolbox, get it up and running. From here, you need to go to MISC Tools, Stream Tools, Video D Multiplexer. From drop down window here, you'll need to choose USM. Make sure it extracts audio and video. So after that, you can close this one down. All you do is you drag that video into the file and it will extract it all into here. So that's the actual video file. It will come in an M2V format. However, that format will play in VLC. However, it will not play in any of the video editors that you have. So you will need to convert that further into a playable, editable format that you'd like. And obviously, these are the different audio files that you will get. All these represent different languages, and you will need to find the ones that uh, represent the English ones. And I believe the English ones were the F, 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 uh, the C, 4C, I think. Anyway, when you do, I'm sure you'll be testing it around, and then it will, all the files will follow the same format. Whatever it is, 4C, or for example, it'll, all the English files will be 4C, for example. I'm not saying this one is, but I believe it was the 4C. So, let's continue from here onwards. You need now to get the M2V file converted into something much more editable, more or less. For that, we will need FFmpeg file uh, program to get it all up and running there. What you do is you need to drag this file into the bin folder. 
and as you noticed there's no audio on this one and it won't have an audio so audio will have to be done extracted different separately and once you have the FFM peg you go to FFM prompt you run it and this is quite important part you need to type exactly the names uh, and the file um, the file extensions that they are, they are in let me get that so I can see that all so you start up the command with typing ffmpeg space dash i the original file name now you can make you can go ahead and just make it easier by just renaming it for yourself or you can leave it as it is like we can put it as test or oh, like well let's put that was a, a flashback wasn't it flashback so you put, change the name and you go and you type it in flashback dot m2b space and then all you do is you put whatever the file name you want to be the outpa uh, output and whatever the file format you want if you want to put like flashback final dot m e4 it'll do that or if you want to do avi it will do the avi for you whatnot press center it'll go through the whole thing and extract it and convert it for you and you'll have to do that for every file every video file you'll have to convert them into the playable format whatever you like I converted mine to mp4s so I can use them in Sony Vegas and once that is done we'll just wait for this to finish there you go as finished it's in a playable format after you're done with your video file conversion it's time to get done with the audio side as well for that we are going to use Winamp. So first of all what we're going to do is we're going to set up the Winamp for it. As I said you have the link in the description you can download it from there. You won't be able to get it from the official sites but it's still available on the net there. So once you have it installed and up and running you go to options, preferences, you go to plugin section, output and you go to this middle one which is null soft disk writer 2.18. You go into configure and you choose the directory where you want to output file locations. I put it in the same same location where I have my um, video files that I've been converting. And you can choose your con uh, the format for that if you like. You, you can change it around, whatever. I put it to as a 48, 16 stereo. You click OK. You click Close. And all you do after that is you drag a file into Winamp and you play it once. I already have that there and let's have a look where my file went finally there you go it comes in a WAV file format and after that it's fairly straightforward if I'm to choose between a greater and lesser evil I'd rather not choose at all usually though the stakes are just too damn high sometimes and from there it's straightforward you get your video editor up and running whichever you use you should be able to just drag these in so you drag your flashback that's in there and you drag your audio file in there now good thing about these audios it, they come in a multiple different channels including all the voices voiceovers in, and the sound effects separated so for example this is what it would like to be Whoa, that was too loud. And you can just uh, isolate, for example, you want just Geralt. You go that, and you'll have... There you go. So there you go, guys. That's all pretty much done. All you need to do is set up all these programs. Once it's all set up, as I said in the beginning, it's fairly straightforward and very easy. You just get the files you want, you extract them, you convert them using VGM toolbox, and then you use your FFmpeg to convert them into the final format that's, uh, that you can edit. So there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions or if you get stuck anywhere, feel free to put a comment in uh, below and I'm more than happy to help you out. 
hope this helps and makes it kind of easier for you. Yeah, in the beginning, when you look at all the programs, you think, oh my god, there's so many things. But once it's all set up, it's very straightforward. You just go ahead, extract the files, convert them, convert them again, get the audio, put it all together, and it will be awesome for you. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. People who's new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. Other guys, thank, thank you for all the support you guys give. And I will see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Thanks.